APC Deputy Governorship Candidate Honorable Denny Sidausa don't advise leaders of the All Progressive Congress for Edo South Senatorial District say make them shine their eye well well make them not fall for lie. Say make them confirm any Tory way they hear so they not go allow this unity enter the party before, during or after election. Honorable Dennis Idausa yanned this one for one meeting when him and the senatorial leader of the APC Edo South Honorable Pius Odubu host on Sunday, August 11, 2024 for Viewpoint Benin City. Honorable Idausa Kontok say it is very important for APC to win for the biggest senatorial district for Edo State, where be Edo South. He come back members for the district say make them join hand together, work to deliver APC for the upcoming election. A constitutional say. For the past five years now, the good people of Ophia Federal constituency have given me the opportunity to represent them in the House of Representatives. And I've won the election twice with their support. As we speak, I still have the mandate of Ophia Federal constituency. But the two other major political parties, none of their candidates nor their deputies, have stand in any election contest. They don't understand what it takes to win an election. But we do because we have gone through we have gone through it twice. My boss won election in a two central senatorial district. He represents the good people of Edo Central Senatorial District as we speak. That shows that the combination of the two reliable, ever trusted, and committed members of our past, we are going to defeat any political party that comes in our way. But we are going to discuss on a do-south contest because a do-south of today, I think we are almost 60 percent because of this new uh, CVR that just went through the continuous voter registration. We are almost at 60 percent, and if we must win this election, a do-south people must come together, and that's why. God revealed to us, and the man of God has prayed over us, and I know God in heaven has approved our prayers. Yeah. God, we know Baseki. I usually don't mention names, but we are ready for a fight now. You don't know why we are ready for a fight? I grew up in an agrarian area. My father and my mother were farmers. They trained me, they sent me to school, and they were able to pay for my school fees with the proceeds of farm. And as of today, the good people of Orion do not have farmland anymore. By the grace of God, when we win, Myself and my boss, we are going to reverse that land and give it back. Number two, I drove through Saplero today. I saw that he is just hurrying up to quickly complete, uh, complete the uh, the museum. <laughs> That he's building there. By the grace of God, when we win, we are going to reconstruct that place back to head center that we were before. I have never seen a man that is reasonable will destroy an hospital, the only state owned hospital, and convert it to what? But by the grace of God, by the grace of God, we are going to do the beautiful and we'll bring it back as a hospital for Edo people to use. Number three, when it rains in Edo now, 
everywhere is submerged. And when the former governor, Adam Sali Oshomole, was the governor of Edo State, there was. Can you still remember what he did? Huh? Do you still remember? Beneath water saw. Now, because the man here now that currently occupies the office is a wicked man, he stopped that project. By the grace of God, when we emerge with your support and God Almighty, we will ensure that we continue that project by the grace of God Almighty. <laughs> now, the people of Ophia, we, we were extremely happy when we learned that Gilegele is coming to our federal constituency. Some of us even borrowed money to go and buy. It's like you went to buy land then. No wonder the land was very expensive. Now, as so of today, if you go to Gedegele Seaport, you will not even see Kenum not to talk of sheep. Is that irresponsible, man? I can pull myself forward for scrutiny in Ovia Federal Constituency. Almost everything I promised them, I have fulfilled it. Yes. Our government, by the grace of God, is not a government that will talk, but a government that will do the talk. It's better you don't promise anybody, but do the work, than you promise and fail. If you compare Adam Salih Oshomole administration and Godinoba Seki administration, you will know that this man is a very wicked person. Now, can you tell me one Bini man that Oba Seki has empowered? Permit me at this junction to speak Bini for a minute. Oto, hey, my he refused to empower anybody. When His Excellency, Right Honorable Pius Ebrahim Odubu, got the chairmanship of NDC, he did everything to pull it down. The only man outside of our revered father, Wamba Obini, Omono Bane Do the only pride that we have. When there is any financial trouble that we run to, was late Captain Okumbo. He fought him so hard, especially when they gave him a contract to, to be in charge of a Nigerian Coast Guard. He did everything with his colleagues to revive that, that contract. And when the man said enough is enough, we will not allow wickedness in our land again. We want to bring somebody that will represent us well. He supported it. And this man did everything to fight him. And now it's no more. But today, as of yesterday, we also learned that his property in my federal constituency, in Ovia Northeast, that he revoked it. Of us, I only a few days in office. I want to tell you today, by the grace of God, when we are met, we will reverse it back to Osa, Osuba family. You see, I'm a man of peace, but when I want to fight, I fight. Yeah, we are.
he supported Edo people. And he was able to place Edo South people in very, very juicy positions. And we were all happy. I believe we can do that again. Yes. Wow. For the past seven and a half years, the leadership of the party have not gotten anything. So, they have not been empowered. So, but by the grace of God, when we emerge, we will make sure, that we will make sure that our party is strong. Back will be strong. I said our party will be strong. Structure, every structure in every unit, wards, local government, senatorial district, and across the states. So on that note, let me sing this song for Edo people. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. The party state chemo Emperor Jared Tenebe and Senator representing Edo North Senatorial District Senator Adams Oshomole will later join the meeting. Come and say APC don't ready to take over the state. Then Costi talks saying, We are very happy for this meeting today. Seeing the array of politicians and leaders here today, it is very clear that APC is ready to take over the state. If we must win governorship in Edo State, it starts from Edo South. And if Edo South is not intact, it then means that that election cannot be won. But I'm happy today that all the leaders of Edo State and within Edo South are all working together in unity. At least we have done a SWOT analysis of what happened in the last election, and it was clear that there was no unity of purpose. But today, I can see from what I'm seeing today, we have that unity of purpose and we are going into the election united. And we're also happy to have our legacy people with us. At least this meeting will put an end to legacy. Nobody will be called legacy because we are now all one. And you see, I pray and hope and know that. September 21st, we are going to come out victorious. Mondo Governor will be an elected governor of the state. And then the announcer will be his deputy. And all the goodies that you people have missed, all of us have missed, in the past eight years of this demonic government will be put to an end. And all the tears that is coming out of our eyes will be wiped away on that 21st of September this year. So we are this occasion is not to make long speeches, but to join you to appreciate the leaders of Edo North who are doing you proud. And Edo South who are doing you proud. I want to find out whether somebody is listening. Yes. Because if some people turn, turn up, I know that if you turn up, the mission only a few or a section is with you. Looking around the table, there are many approaches for voice of time, and I also want to thank you for creating a platform for me to be able to reconnect you know, face to face with many of our leaders. I know the 77 uh, words in the great Edo State, you know, the, the greatest kingdom on earth. Presided over by the world's most powerful king of our everyone in the circle. And I know you will respect not only the upper, you will respect the parents and you respect the institution. All like others. I am grateful for all, to all of you. And I am convinced with the unity of leaders of the two South, delivering the two South of who they So I have no doubt you have that at all. And when I see evil priests, Mr. Waker, even if you shave your hair like my own, a priest is a priest. So we have the benefit of new blood. And Mr. Uh, Kwama is here. We will use your hotel free of charge. This time, nobody will plant a cave on the sample and say it's your own. So 
Congratulations to you at 44. When I was 44, I was still trying to learn how to do some stuff. But for let me pass out of that. May, you, may your dreams, your dreams be realized. Your dreams be realized. Somebody say amen. amen. You will worship God. You will respect national institutions. You will respect the great number of Benin. And like you said, through your boss, the next governor of this state, who is only taller than me by one and a half inch. We are going down to the complexion, only they have more vertical advantage. He has said we respect him. So, leaders, are you able to hear that? Because my neighbor that told me, he who does not respect elders, at all age, he will not be respected. May everything that is in your heart and the heart of our next governor come to fruition in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Edo South APC Senatorial Leader Honorable Pius Odubu, Director General of Campaign Senator Matthew Rohide, Leader Pastor Saige Izeayamu, and other APC chieftain for their address, come urge the leader say make them continue to decide their candidates for the district. Director General of Campaign come also announce say the party's campaign will start on Tuesday, August 13, 2024. This relationship that we have amongst ourselves in this party that has a major role to play in the outcome of this election. Those of you who are seated here will decide the result of this election. If we are honest with ourselves, if we are committed to this, this laughter, this joy that I see on your faces, this glee, all of you will enjoy it. If we do something otherwise, God forbid. difficult for us. We need all of you to do the needful. A lot of bickering inside this party. The first two meetings I had with some leaders of this party, I was afraid. And I contemplated not doing this job. But things have started to get better. Every day. Quarrel. Separation. Expression of selfish interest among the cops. All you leaders, I see the enthusiasm. You are all working. I will need, we will need you to work in harder. Look at our chairman. We have said that it will, it will be a good place in history for you. That APC is returning to power in the new state. And I'm not leaving at least one term. All the leaders. I want to thank you ahead of time on behalf of our candidates and the party that we are all doing very well. <laughs> One of the things too that I considered, which we must always say, all of those who are contesting election today, our candidates are the best. Yes. <laughs> is better than any other government candidate. Yes. The is outside is better than any other testing government. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We are taking all political indices to assess this. Why? They hold the market presently of a segment of the state. And there is no person that has mandate given to him one check. In our recent history, for a senator to be involved in an election against a non-senator, general election, I said to you, the issue of Kavanaugh will tell you. Did he? No, no, did he? We tell him. Because that is already a given for our candidates. No other person has that. He has credentials to show. I was told there was an impression it. He has credentials. He has helped his people. When it mattered the most, when people were distressed by the security, he was not a senator. He gave five buses, he had buses. He contributed money. Little did he know. And the other person contesting against him now for this governorship that the deal of reckoning was going to come when the two of them would be on the, on the balance. 
When you were donating millions, the other one donated only a hundred thousand. <laughs> governance, good governance is about compassion. I did said it. If you are not compassionate, you can never do something for everyone. So one of those that has displayed compassion is not about the beauty of the man or any rubbish that people have to consider. And that one brings it, brings it to my mind. We want to send it out as a note of warning to medicine in Tadopas coming up in different shapes, inviting our candidates to unnecessary talks and debates. Nobody is going to set the agenda for us. We are going to set the agenda for us. And the way they have taken it, a lot of innocuous bodies, something, something in Lagos, inviting our candidate, they want to organize the debate. Who says the debate that can determine who the leader will be? By their own estimation, they believe they come and organize all those caricature meetings, and our candidate will not have the sense, or the party will not have the sense to decide whether to attend or to attend. In fact, it is certainly going to be at our own behest whether we are going to or not. So, don't get worried. We are on top of it. When the time comes, our candidate is ready for anything. When the time comes, we are going to go debate and we'll surprise them. Let them get ready. But they must not adopt debates too. We equally expose the activities before. Particularly in terms of the academic government. Or in, in, in any of the sectors that they are doing, their records too will be tested and will be exposed. So we shouldn't be afraid. We need everybody, please let all our hands be on deck. Like I said, if Mondo Pablo has done what they have done in the central, and then of course, right from the Dennis Dalsa, who is getting and getting the mandate a second time for eight years. In the Biafra constituency, with all the liturgy of projects that he has done. Let me tell you, the difference between Dennis Dalsa and the other person, Dennis Dalsa has been dealing with voters. The other people have been dealing with people in government. He has been dealing with the common people in Obia. He has not been dealing with people in government alone. That makes a difference. And it is not important that we decide who will win the election. That's a lot to show. So please, at any opportunity that presents, we must remind you that we have good candidates. And let them let them test it. If you were a good man, if you were a good man when you were you were playing play boardroom politics. Like Gamale, I'm not so there. I'm not so there one day was chairman of Cabrini, chairman of this, chairman of this bank, chairman of that. He didn't want to be governor. If you were successful when you were, why do you want to become governor? Most of the matter is even compounded when your people do not even know you because it's not even a part of them. So, I want to beg all of us. Please, we are going to be steadfast. We are going to be steadfast. What we have to do, we have to do. All the things we have to put together. It's not only talk, it's not only money that wins election. People must see your heart. The grace of God is upon our candidate. Yeah. If you see more, you will know that the grace of God is upon him. Yes. It is not for the man that is strongest, or the man that runs fastest. It is as the good Lord or the sister. And we have seen that. Yes. We will need this election effortlessly. Yeah. Looking at the assembly, of personality gathered here today from Edo South. The doers 
the movers and shakers, not just in the APC. I would say 80% of them are here present today. What that means is that and those South is poised to rise again. And those South is poised to reclaim its lost glory. Before now, nobody dare say want to win an election in the Ego State without a Ego South. Like the chairman said just now, we are realizing our failure. This time around, we are determined more than ever before to deliver APC. We have to free ourselves from this bondage that we have been the past eight years. For me, the election is a straight contest between APC and all others. I say so because we have a good message and we have good messengers. The beauty of democracy is that they say tomorrow. It offers you the opportunity for reappraisal. It offers you the opportunity for renewal. When that time for renewal comes, particularly for those who have been in government, it is to evaluate your performance over the years. Thank God, in those days in recent times, the two dominant parties have been at the helm of affairs. When APC was at the helm of affairs, you saw red group everywhere, correct? Yes. You saw state-of-the-art hospital, correct? Yes. Several thousand kilometers of road constructed and reconstructed, correct? Yes. Secondly, secular, Aquacaba, Sapler Road. Oriamo, Anekwete, Ego. In fact, the Eti local government had a road constructed by the administration and administration. The human capacity development, the youth were constructively engaged. I think Kabaka can testify to that. Civil servants were paid as and when due. In fact, Edo State was a construction site during that period. There is no local government that will be the part of the APC government. Conversely, PDP, wittingly or wittingly, all the gains recorded during the Adamashoro regime were put in reverse order. Some water abandoned, correct? Hospital demolished for car park, correct? Yes, sir. Lettering demolished for shop rent, correct? Yes, sir. In fact, whereas at the Shumuli APC governance was IMAC, PDP is nothing but MOU province as audio project. I'm sure those of us from Mobia are using the Gelegele Seaport now, B. <laughs> And chairman, I'm sure you are using the airport in the zone of now. In fact, PDP government is a wicked government. Any government that will destroy hospital and pick her back is a wicked government. Any government that will destroy Lazare and put short rest is a wicked government. Any government that will promise and pay is a wicked government. Any government that all it does is MOU and not your project is a good care government. Yes. And we are going to reward such a government. Yes. And we are asking the people by those that are we going to reward such a government. Yes. And during the demonstration and my time, we pay maximum respect to the traditional institution. Yes. Governor, candidate 
deputy that are trusted and trusted, it is now. Yes, yes. Our candidate, a sitting senator, yes, the simple senator Monday O'Quavo. Yes. He won, he is there to get the line of the affair to death. Yes. Since 1999, no other party has won the senator seat in the door in the door center. But the Kremlin did. Let us just go and evangelize. Because our message is 
fruit and our candidates good. Let us go to our men and bread of Medusa, telling our people that this party, ABC, this party, ABC, we respect the traditional institution. We respect the of Benin. That we have done it before. We'll be doing it again. Our leaders from the seven local governments in the South, one thing that is important is that, as previous speakers have said, to win a dose states, we must win a dose out. If we don't win a dose out, we will not win a dose state. I was the coalition agent for the last presidential election for APC. We won two Senate seats. But it will surprise many of you, and many of you also know, that we could not get the required 25% because we lost a dose out. We got 24.8%. That was very unfortunate. If we had scored over 25, we'd have had more respect today at the federal level. And whether you believe it or not, Edo South must blame themselves for what happened. Because Edo South controls the bulk of the population in our state. We must not allow this to happen again for many reasons. We have a governor who has become a tyrant. A governor who has abused the political class. We saw his activities in APC. And we're happy when he left. PDP thought they could welcome him. They welcome me. Today, Josiah Adams is with us. <laughs> so, whether it's PDP or APC, people have seen who he is. Even the Labour Party, that had a romance with him before our assembly election. When they saw what he did during the House of Assembly election, many of them have realized it's not somebody to do business with. But, but, a lot of people outside the those things, they are surprised that we will be talking about having problems in the do South. Especially when they realize that PDP has a governor who has shown so much disrespect to our revered monarch, the Oba Ovedi. It's not something that is secret. It's something that even outsiders know. And they are asking themselves, are there not many men in the those states, in the those out, that a governor who has shown so much disrespect a governor who is openly fighting the other <coughs> for artifacts that the federal government has given directive that it should be with the uh, palace, yet he's still doing what he's doing. <coughs> it will be a big shame if our carelessness we don't win the dose out. It will be a big mistake. Let me also say here that the victory of Opegolo and the Nisidaosa is the foundation that you must build for your political ambition. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to become the councillor, you want to become chairman of council, you want to be a commissioner, you want to go to House of Assembly, 
you want to go to house of any position you want to go to elective position, even appointed positions. Then this election is also your election. Am I making sense? Yes. Don't leave it, don't leave it to Dennis Idaosa and Mondo Pebolo It could be a mistake. It could be a mistake. I'm happy that a lot of people are wearing face cap before. Oh, no face cap, no face cap. No. These are things we must produce ourselves. Posters. And Tuesday is an opportunity for us to show that we are truly the senatorial that has the highest number. The moment we finish Tuesday, Wednesday, we are going to Central. Don't allow them to disgrace us. Thursday, we are going to a donut. Don't allow them to disgrace us. It's small things that bring disgrace. It's small things that bring you down. If we don't show our strength from the beginning, then we are lying ourselves to be disgraced. In a real civilized society, let me tell you, the real civilized society, PDP would concede that they have no candidates in a real civilized society. Let me tell you why, let me tell you why. And I'm surprised because their candidate is supposed to be a senior lawyer. Their deputy is supposed to be a senior lawyer. And the governor, who is their godfather, is supposed to be a very enlightened person. How can you continue supporting somebody that the Court of Appeal has considered forged his voters' card? There can't be, so they, they, nothing can be more disgraceful than that. Voters' card. A man, a man who can, who can, who can forge a voters' card. Can we trust him with the government of the new states? Allow 
if we allow a perfect key and his duties to enter the house. What we have created for them is a personal estate. They will do what they like with their estate. And many of us will not be able to stay here anymore. I want to encourage all of you to take this election very seriously. I am sure this hotel has not seen the kind of crowd that is here today. And this is just a meeting of some selected leaders. It shows the caliber of people that we have. At a time when we are not even in government, I've not been in government in the past eight years, go outside and see. What I'm trying to tell you is that the real leaders of our people are the ones sitting here. Yeah. But let me just start that I'm one of the most proud human beings in this world. The leaders of this great party, they are all showcased here, specifically from those days, starting from our state chairman. Obvia is number one in this world, are we not? Yes, sir. Obvia, South Southwest, are you here? Yes. Obvia, North East, are you here? Yes. I want to, from the bottom of my heart, on the crew practically express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you. Like uh, one of our leaders has rightly expressed, most of the things I want to say, I will wait till after the camera leave this, uh, this great hall. But just to say this, you know, and do where are you no kawe, son, ah, and if you are men, eh, who's up what where? We are 61 percent. We are 61 percent. My day the day Tuesday. Not be so. I want us to look at this issue critically. This election, like the right pastor and our DG and our former deputy governor have rightly stated, we must work hard in the those out. Tell of Baseki and his group. We are getting six of us in the donor. Tell them five over five in the do central. Is that not the uh, eleven? What about those hours? Because if we don't do well, we will be tying his hands. When we go to deputy governor, why is it that we are not getting the right to say? If we don't win the way, if we lose the way, we lose, we forget anything to share. It makes it extremely difficult. We are going to win. Are we going to be part of the victory? Yes! The train is about to depart from the station. Those who want to join, come on board. If you don't want to join, you'll be left behind. We will not be left behind in Jesus' name. And that brings the topic to the units. Units. See me with my big belly. So that is it. I will buy you in. I don't want at the end when they say, you must well come and speak as a happy code. So that others can say, no, we need unit to God forbid. <laughs> Let us go back to the unit. And very soon the DG will be giving to us the necessary thing that will give us additional information. So that we can knock on doors. This can be said on the camera. Knock on every door. We need posters. I'm not going to talk about others because they have exhausted it. Let me go to this area. We need posters. When I contested the gay lucky video in 1999, posters, they say, you know, put the retical takara. Somebody who we were coming from campaign, they brought Takara to my house. All we lucky with the posters. So even poster that you be wrapping a car has its own usefulness. Yes, I don't know if you are getting the gist. Yeah. When do you observe that each time we go to villages now, children comes out from their village houses when they hear the music. It shows that APC is on a different level. And leaving them behind with more leaf cap, more leaf souvenir like caps, um, t-shirts, 
or even the posters for them to paste on their various houses. So these things are very important. Those are the areas I just want to dwell on. I want us to be very, very serious. As for the two, for the PDP, we have gone far. A house without foundation can never stand. They are on our head. If the head is rotted, the body cannot stand. A man that cannot speak his language. I was telling the admission that the one guy said they saw him at the airport. The guy from there, he said, what did he say? What did he say? They say, how are you, sir? That's what he said. He said, okay, don't be speaking that here. And he want to govern you. He want to govern you. So I want to appeal to us. Let us go back. Let us reach out to the Ojongurins. Let us reach out to the Okanilis. Let us reach out to the church, churches in our neighborhood. Let us go to the mosque. Let us reach out to the Asikidios. Can everybody be our brothers and sisters? And those, the native doctors in our area, let us also reach out to them. The Christian in our area, and the woman, and one of them, and one of them, and one of them, and one of them, this election is going to be a very tough one. A very tough one. And I want us to be among those when they are counting those who have delivered, we should be counted among those who have delivered our various units and our various world and our various local government. So I will talk about the rally when I when the camera leaves, but just to say that our young dynamic man here, Dennis Dowsa, you all know him. I was one time a deputy governor, it's not an easy task. It can also be very easy. The only way he has said it us now to make it very easy for him is for him to look back and count the number of local government he has won. When I say he, we have uh, won. PDP is no more. I hope you all know that. For the end of the meeting, the Concord cake to show unity and to also celebrate and jollificate with Honorable Dennis Idausa for his 44th birthday. Make una not forget say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We not the take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ojisele, TMC TV News.